I'm Brent Weaver, and you're watching YouGurus TV. I'm here at Adobe Max in the Community Pavilion, and I'm hanging out with uh, Christopher Joseph, and he's with Adobe in the uh, Edge Reflow team. Web platform team now. Web platform yeah. team, all right, yeah. so um, all good. So um, when did you get your start at Adobe? Um, I've been working as uh, a full-time employee at Adobe for about three years now. Um, I, before that, I was actually consulting for Adobe XD. Um, and yeah, I've been around Adobe for a while though, because I was doing Flash as well as HTML stuff and kept getting pulled into different projects. So what's the web platform team all about? So the mission statement is to move the web forward, right? Make, make the web better, make it an actual platform that you can build you know, really rich experiences on. Uh, so we do all kinds of stuff. Uh, we contribute to WebKit, which is the main part. We contribute to um, by, through tests, through new features like the filters you've seen, I'm sure, and shaders, and um, the really cool stuff like uh, regions and exclusions, these really new big features that help uh, our users make really great content on the web. Very cool. So now, Edge Reflow got a little bit of airtime during the keynote. It's a tiny bit, yeah. Was that, was that kind of cool? It was, it's, it was surreal, yeah. It's interesting, um, when we envisioned Reflow, uh, a lot of the things that we had hoped actually were displayed, you know? So it was cool to see it from like, go from idea to actually like on the big Macs, you know, Kino, it's interesting, it's just <laughs> surreal. Yeah. You guys were a part of the million pixels or whatever that yeah. was up there. Yeah, right, <laughs> so weird. Yeah. So why is Edge Reflow important for web professionals uh, yeah. that, are, that are currently building sites? Well, so we kept hearing, well, it, Edge Reflow came out of my own personal pains and anguishes trying to build uh, multi-screen applications, right? Uh, and I was making, I was focusing on mobile at the time and multi-screen. So we were making applications that ran on a desktop as well as mobile. But then I started thinking about it and there, before Reflow, there was not a single fluid canvas application, which is baffling to me, that there wasn't an application that had a fluid canvas. Hmm. So we started thinking about it harder and um, looking into the technologies that would actually make this you know, really easy to build and actually really useful to users. And we found a lot of people migrating to the web. And as we were starting to build out these prototypes that had a fluid canvas, responsive web design kind of blew up, right? Ethan Marcotte published his, you know, now famous blog post. And we were right there, you know, working on the same kind of stuff at the same time. Um, I think it's really important for designers that are making websites today because it allows them to express their responsive intent, which you could not do, you still cannot do in any other tool. But, other than just the browser, right? So how does a web pro <laughs> build value for responsive? I mean, you go to a client situation, yeah. and you're like, you need responsive, and they're yeah. like, well, we need to like make money, right? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. How do you go in and approach a situation to maybe build value for why responsive mm -hmm. is so important? Well, so this, that's, a, that's, a hard, that's a hard question to answer because you know, all the approaches that get your content to your user are legitimate, right? So if you're really focused on the user, you focus on the best way to get the content to them, like your, the business's content to their user. Um, I find that responsive websites do that really well. Um, it's much easier to get a wider um, touch point with all of your users and get your content out there in a way that's catered to them, where they are, what they're doing, right? Um, that's not to say that having an application isn't the right way to go or having a, a mobile website isn't the right thing to do. It's just saying that like, you can hit a really wide spectrum of your user base um, with one website that's just created responsibly. Gotcha. So now, one thing that I've, I've felt overwhelmed with is you've got so many devices. You've mm. got so many things to like, keep track of yeah. um, you know, in testing and building and all of the breakpoints. Yep. I mean, how do, how do you make sense of that and like, how, much, how far do you take it? You know, how yeah. responsive is enough? Right. So when I first started doing responsive web design, I was really focused on device sizes and widths and you know, getting, make sure it worked, making sure it worked in portrait and landscape and doing all these multiple breakpoints like you described. Uh, as I've been you know, doing this for a little bit now and making a tool to make it easier for people, I'm starting to realize that you can kind of get away with just one breakpoint, you know, small screens, large screens. All you really want to do is start adding little tweak points um, you know, maybe you add another breakpoint where the design breaks, but really what you're trying to do is get the design and the content across to your user, right, on all these devices. So 
Um, I think there's been a lot of obsession over breakpoints and over device widths. Um, that's really not what the focus should be on. It should be on your design. You know, you resize your design, and if it breaks, you add a breakpoint, and then you do some tweaks, right? Mm. You don't need to think too much about the devices. You need to think, really focus on your design and your content. That's that's very interesting. I mean, just I feel like you just helped my <laughs> approach to how I even view like what our team does on the responsive side and stuff like that. So that's very cool. Yeah. So um, as far as Edge Reflow, like what what's coming next in that product? I mean. I, is, is there any features or functionality that we could talk about that hasn't already been mentioned in the keynote and other stuff like that? No, I can't. I actually don't know. Uh, but what I can say is that the stuff that you saw with um, integration with Photoshop and other tools, I think is going to be really big um, for the, the next features of Reflow. Um, that's a really big focus for all of us, right? We want to integrate all of our tools. We want to make it really seamless between all the different products. Um, so that's going to be a big focus, not only for Reflow, but for brackets and you know edge code and inspect, etc. Very nice. So you've been at Adobe for a few years. Obviously, this is not your first Max. No. <laughs> what's, what's been different for you about this Max? What's made this Max special and unique and not just another conference that you guys are throwing? I've, this one has been really special to me because we've gotten a lot back to our roots. Um, I was honestly depressed a couple years ago when it was really developer-focused because, A, there weren't the kind of people I was used to seeing. You know, I've been coming for many, many years, and I'm a designer by training and a developer by, by <laughs> I get paid to do development, right? <laughs> by force. By force, <laughs> by, yeah. You can code, do that. Uh, so I was actually really sad. I used to come to uh, Max to get inspired and talk to people that do amazing things, and you know, mainly in the design field. Um, <clears throat> one of the big disappointments was that there, I was sad that it was becoming like all the other like big Java One conferences. There's you know there was less women, there was less people, right? And, <laughs> I and, see what this is all about. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I just like to see a, a, a greater, um, a greater depth of our actual users that are actually finding um, it easier to use our tools to express themselves, right? Um, and that's not just coding. It's making amazing designs, amazing experiences, and this Max has been really focused on that. It's been making me really, really happy. Has there been any presenter or session or part of the keynote or sneak that has stood out in your mind as being like, that's super inspiring, like, like that moment where you get maybe a little bit of that, that chill or that like feeling where you're like, wow, I'm now motivated to go and you know crush it for the rest of the year. Yeah. Anything that has to do with Behance blows my mind. Uh, Typekit and Behance, those guys are class acts. They know what they're doing really well and everything that they put out is really, really high quality. Um, and especially for Behance, they're making it easier for people who might not be um, able to get their, their work out, to get their work in front of a lot of people, and I love that, right? They're like lowering the bar to get out there, right? Well, I think it's so cool that Adobe is involved in that creative community to that level now, because it's always been like about the tools, the tools, the tools, yeah. but I've always found that, you know, working with other creatives, getting inspiration, starting to fiddle with other programs, just like you guys are saying, where you're, you're kind of integrating a lot of the tools yeah. so that it's not just about like the video people and the web people, right. but what's web and video have to do together, you right. know? And that's, that's really cool, and I think, um, I think you guys are on the right track for sure. I, I hope so. I think. The big picture is starting to come together, right? We've always wanted, that's always been the goal, make it easier for um, creative people to get their dreams out. And then now it's actually going further and being like, well, people need to collaborate. People need to get inspired from each other. Going across products, going across you know, user bases, right? Very cross pollination. Nice. Well, we definitely appreciate you taking some time to chat with us today, Christopher, and I wish you all the best and enjoy thanks. the rest of the conference. Will do, thanks. Thanks for having me. All right, thanks. <laughs>